CKD patients cannot stop dialysis once it started, or can they? A chronic kidney disease patient was denied a medication he desperately needed for his MCD. The result? Boom! The most incredible case of dialysis remission dialysis, just like that. But luckily for him, this patient wasn't just any average Joe. Nope, he was an accomplished scientist with access to a supplement processing facility, and he developed a supplement that could get him out of dialysis. That's amazing. After just two months of his DIY miracle supplement, he didn't just get out of dialysis, he was also able to remain dialysis-free for years. All this happened in 2016. In 2020, when this case report was being written, this patient's kidney function was still stable no doubts, thanks to this supplement. Sounds interesting, right? Well, here's the best part. The recipe for this kidney restoring supplement was made public in order to patent the supplement, and I have found it. That's right, guys. This dialysis survivor just handed us the blueprint to potentially save countless CKD patients. Today, I will tell you how to find all the ingredients. Now, this gem is from 2021, and honestly, I'm shocked they managed to hide it from me until now. But hey, while everyone else was out here sleeping on this, I was sharpening my Google Foo skills. You could hide a study inside a fortune cookie, and I'd still find it before dessert. This case report? Oh, it's got everything. Essential medications denied by insurance? Check. Dialysis sensation? Double check. Doctors baffled like they've just seen a UFO? You bet. A patient outsmarting the entire medical establishment? Absolutely. I mean, what more could you want? This is better than a Christopher Nolan movie, guys. Today. I want to walk you through everything you need to know about a remarkable scientific discovery that could change the way we think about kidney health. But before we dive into the supplement that helped one man walk away from dialysis, let's clear a couple of things up. First, I know what you might be thinking, this sounds too good to be true. A scientist creating his own kidney saving supplement and then actually getting off dialysis? Sounds like something out of a superhero movie, right? And you're right to be skeptical honestly, you should be. There's so much misinformation online these days that believing the wrong thing can be dangerous, especially when it comes to kidney health. That's why everything I share with you today is backed up by peer-reviewed medical studies and actual case reports. I take this seriously, because I know how much false health advice is out there. If misinformation could power our cities, we'd never need solar panels or nuclear plants again. But in reality, it just hurts people like when someone promises you can cure CKD by eating ribeye steaks with pink salt every day. That's not healing, that's a fast track to dialysis. So, was this case real? Did someone with CKD actually reverse dialysis with a supplement? Yes. And here's what's important to know, this was an acute kidney injury, AKI, where recovery is sometimes possible. No, the researchers made it very clear this was chronic kidney disease, and the patient truly regained function. They even went out of their way in the case report to prove it wasn't just AKI. Here's the part that makes this story even more incredible, the patient was a scientist. While most of us were figuring out how to bake sourdough or reheat leftovers, he was formulating a kidney restoring supplement in his lab. And because he patented it, the entire ingredient list is now publicly available. The patent studied the ingredients, and I'm going to share not just the list but also clear guidance on how they were used doses included. Think of it as me handing you the blueprint, step by step. This could be something you or someone you care about may really need. And if you know anyone struggling with CKD, please share this with them.
the more people who learn about this, the more hope we can spread. Because this isn't just about one man's story. It's about showing that there's a way forward, even when it seems like dialysis is the only option left. In the next part of this video, we're going to take a closer look at the ingredient list itself the exact supplements that made a difference for this former dialysis patient. And I'll be honest with you, not every ingredient in that patent is safe or even recommended for CKD patients. That's why I'll walk you through which ones I'd personally suggest and which ones you should stay far away from. Please remember, though, this isn't the exact formula he was taking it's simply my analysis of the ingredients listed in the patent. And as always, make sure you check with your doctor or a naturopath who really understands CKD before trying anything new. So, where do we begin? With my favorite category, antioxidants. When it comes to protecting your kidneys and yes, even turning back the clock on dialysis antioxidants are powerful allies. In fact, they've already been used successfully in studies to help CKD patients regain kidney function. Here's a great example. In one study, some dialysis patients who were given Coke 10, a strong antioxidant, were actually able to stop dialysis. Incredible, right? But it's not just me saying this. Entire reviews of medical literature back it up you'll see one on screen right now. That's important, because too many so-called experts online will throw complicated jargon at you that sounds impressive but has no solid evidence behind it. If there's no real science to support it, it's about as useful as a fortune cookie. And your kidneys deserve better than that. That's why I believe every single kidney patient should be on some form of antioxidant support. If you're one of my patients already, chances are you've got a pretty thorough antioxidant protocol in place. But in this video, I don't just want to talk about antioxidants in general I want to break down the exact ones this patient used to get out of the dialysis chair. So, the big question is, should you add these three antioxidants to your daily routine? Let's walk through them together. First up is olive leaf extract. This one is truly powerful, and honestly, I think it's worth considering. Its magic comes from a compound called oluropine, a strong polyphenol with both antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. Why does that matter? Because chronic, low-level inflammation is almost always present in CKD, and it's one of the main drivers of fibrosis that scarring that makes kidney function worse over time. By calming inflammation, olive leaf may actually help slow down progression, maybe even keeping you off dialysis rather than just pulling you out of it. And here's the really exciting part, olive leaf also works like a natural ACE inhibitor, helping with blood pressure, while at the same time supporting blood sugar control. That's like getting the benefits of three medications in one simple supplement. Pretty amazing, right? Of course, nothing comes without caution. Olive leaf can lower both blood pressure and blood sugar, so if you decide to try it, keep an eye on your numbers or better yet, track them closely with your doctor. If you tolerate olive oil in your diet, that's wonderful too. Olive leaf is simply another way to get those same protective benefits if oil isn't an option for you. Now, let's move on to the second one, N-acetylcysteine, or NAC. This supplement is one of the most potent antioxidants out there, and it has an incredible track record for kidney protection. When taken in the right dose, NAC helps protect your kidneys long-term by reducing oxidative stress that's the damaging process that high blood pressure and diabetes use to quietly wear kidneys down. But here's a bonus most people don't know, NAC is also amazing for your liver. If your lab tests ever show elevated liver enzymes, NAC might just be your best ally. And there's more NAC has even been studied for protecting the kidneys from contrast dye used in CT scans, MRIs, and other imaging tests.
for CKD patients, those exams can be risky because the contrast can trigger oxidative stress, but NAC has been shown to help reduce that risk. So yes, NAC is definitely one I'd put high on the list. Just make sure you're using the right dose I'll show it on screen for you so it's clear. Now, let's talk about the third antioxidant in this special ingredient list the one that really caught my attention, tocotrienols. Tocotrienols are part of the vitamin E family, but here's the thing, most vitamin E supplements you see on the shelf are loaded with tocopherols, not tocotrienols. Don't get me wrong. Tocopherols are excellent antioxidants, but this patient specifically chose tocotrienols. And honestly, he might have been onto something. Why? Because research suggests tocotrienols may actually be stronger. They don't just fight oxidative stress and inflammation, they also have antifibrotic effects meaning they may help slow or even prevent scarring in the kidneys. That's huge. In fact, in one study on CKD patients, participants who took tocotrienols actually saw improvements in their GFR. Think about that better kidney function from a supplement. Pretty incredible, right? Now, remember that table of ingredients I showed you earlier? The dose I listed for tocotrienols was deliberately low safe for anyone with CKD. But in the study I just mentioned, the dose was much higher. Could higher doses help? Possibly, yes, but only in controlled settings. For some patients, it might be safe. For others, it could be risky. That's why caution matters. And if you take a closer look at that full ingredient list, you'll see antioxidants weren't the only things in there. This mix included electrolytes, for example. But here's the issue, electrolytes like sodium and potassium are fine if you're a marathon runner sweating buckets. For CKD patients, though, supplementing them can do more harm than good it's the kind of thing that puts you on dialysis, not off it. There were also a few supplements usually given for joint pain. The scientist behind this formula claimed he used them to support the endothelial layer the inner lining of blood vessels to improve kidney blood flow. Interesting theory, but the science just isn't there yet. Would I recommend them? No, not at this point. Another ingredient was niacin. Yes, it can help with circulation and blood pressure, but it also acts a bit like a blood thinner. So if you're already on anticoagulants, stacking niacin on top could be unsafe. Then there's lactoferrin, which is especially interesting because it may help with anemia a major problem for many CKD patients. I haven't done a deep dive video on lactoferrin yet, but if you want me to, let me know in the comments. It's on my list. Now, before we wrap this up, let's clear up one more thing. Was this really a case of CKD reversal, or was it just AKI acute kidney injury that happened to improve on its own? That distinction is important. Here's why, AKI can look scary kidneys may suddenly stop working but sometimes, if the underlying issue is treated quickly, recovery is possible. CKD, on the other hand, usually doesn't bounce back. Once you're on dialysis, stopping it is extremely rare without a transplant. So what about this patient? Well, his kidney function had been below a GFR of 60 for long enough to meet the official KIGO criteria for CKD. He was even listed for a transplant something they don't do for AKI patients. On top of that, despite treatment for his MCD, he still declined to renal failure before this remarkable turnaround. The researchers were clear, this wasn't just AKI. As they put it, AKI in such a case will be unusual. And let me translate that for you, unusual means not in a million years, buddy. So yes this was real CKD. And yet, this man was able to come off dialysis and stay off it. 
So, can CKD patients really get out of dialysis? In some cases, yes. And that's why I share stories like this, to show you that there is hope. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, take care of yourself, and God bless you. Ciao.